Please go ahead, switch your name. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and um, I'm sorry I didn't meet your son. He said it uh, so much better than I could. I am Jim Wilson. I am the Chief Scientific Officer for CEPRT and um, have been asked to speak to the importance of public support. Could you pull the mic a little closer? Yes. Thank you. The importance of public support for pediatric cancer research and to comment briefly on the impact that CEPRT's had over the past eight years on the problem of childhood cancer in Texas. Um, despite the uh, very poignant um, example that we've just heard about, the um, success in treatment of childhood cancer happens to be one of the most uh, uh, significant success stories where now eight of ten children can expect a cure. But despite the success, and as demonstrated by Johnny, uh, the numbers of uh, childhood cancers are increasing and there are certain cancers, namely brain cancer and bone cancer affecting children that remain devastating illnesses for the child and their family. And a unique challenge for ch uh, pediatric cancer researchers is that it is uh, in fact an uncommon disease and requires the communities to come together, both researchers and patients. Um, and I uh, want to uh, acknowledge uh, one of your committee members, Senator Kolkhurst, who had the foresight uh, and the recognition that the importance of bringing communities together uh, as part of an advisory committee to CEPRT for childhood and adolescent cancers um, to guide CEPRT on its investments in this area and to ensure that these investments promote it collaborations across Texas. And indeed, CEPRT has spent now 12 percent of its funds towards uh, pediatric cancer in contrast to the 4% that uh, Senator Fallon just mentioned regarding the federal spending and has had a major impact that I may, if I could, give you two brief examples of this impact and one occurred last week with a presentation by investigators at Baylor, for Baylor College of Medicine at the National Cancer Meetings of a major breakthrough in the treatment of pediatric bone cancer. Um, this treatment involves taking genetically modified cells from patients and directing them to attack their own cancer. And perhaps you saw on CBS News last week, uh, one of the participants in this trial, who is a college freshman now, who participated uh, four years ago with advanced uh, bone cancer that was refractory to common, or this common chemotherapy and radiation therapy, and is now completely disease-free following this uh, innovative treatment. Um, it turns out that the development of these CAR T cells, as they're known, was initiated by a CEPRT award to Baylor College of Medicine uh, for in, in 2010. And now the next step to make this available to additional individuals is the role of the CEPRT um, product development program, namely a uh, company in Houston, Bellicon Pharmaceuticals, which is now taking this treatment to uh, a commercialization opportunity. So thank this, you, thank you very much. Yes, so this thank is you, an example. Yeah, I of the that. impact. Of we appreciate this. very much yes. the work that y'all do, and we are so sorry for your loss. Yes. And appreciate Senator Fallon bringing this. And we know you traveled a long ways to be here, the legislature today. Thank you. And it's greatly appreciated. Uh, any other questions? No. Th then uh, it one thing, Mr. Chair, I just wanted to thank you and the members. And you know, uh, you hear testimony a lot about heroes, <coughs> naming uh, for, your... for police officers and military members. We have a hero, and right up here on this committee was Senator Hinojosa and what he's done for this country. And you know, uh, Johnny Wade is another hero. You know, they came, they come in all shapes, sizes, shades, and ages. So thank you. I thank y'all very much. Okay, we'll go to Senator Lucio. Are you ready? Chair lays out Senate Bill 1721, recognizes its author.